Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're continuing the review series of the Department 6 2023 new releases for Halloween. And today, this morning, right now, we're gonna take a look at the Corn Creeper. This was an anticipated piece for me to kind of put into my, one of the displays that I built earlier this year. This is a ginormous corn made scarecrow looking creature. It's pretty freaky looking. Let's jump in and take a much closer look. Okay, as always, we start with a box. Now you can see that the corn creeper is pretty freaky looking, right? Also at the bottom left corner, you'll see that he is a resin accessory. Standalone, doesn't come with anything else, doesn't light up, just kind of stands there and looks pretty or pretty scary in this case. Now, if you pick this piece up uh, at your local retailer or you order it online from any number of folks or Department 56 itself, it'll cost you $28.50. And so what do you get for $28.50? You get this guy. He's pretty cool looking, I have to admit. He's also ginormous, a lot bigger than I had anticipated. So this guy stands probably a good six, uh, six and a half inches or so. Uh, he's pretty tall. He is, uh, he's no joke and he's pretty scary looking. The resin accessories, you guys know, and I've told you a hundred times, I love the way they look. I love the fit and finish. I just, I like it all. And take a look at the ground that he is standing on. It's, uh, it's really well done. It's incredibly well detailed and painted, and the leaves just pop, just like they do on most normal resin pieces. And then you can kind of see, we'll just kind of slowly zoom up here, of the corn and the detail in the paint job. Not a bad uh, paint job on this guy, and that right there is just a reflection of light from the back window but looks pretty cool. All the details are there. Even the detail on his face is pretty good and pretty scary. Uh, big, uh, looks like big sticks, kind of, kind of maybe for arms. I don't know, but he's pretty, he's pretty freaky looking. If we turn this guy around or to the side, you can kind of see that nothing has been missed on this, this guy. He looks just about like that everywhere. And you'll notice even that there's some sort of a, maybe a belt type thing that's kind of cinching the, the corn stalks together there. And then it comes down into the ground. So it doesn't really do a whole lot other than just stand there and look scary, but man, he is imposing, really. I mean, that is a big, big piece. Now you guys saw uh, the scary farmhouse vignette or display that I was doing earlier this season. And I put the, uh, I can't remember the name of the scarecrow, but there's a, there's a scary, uh, you know, scary scarecrow that, uh, that sits in there and uh, he's got some glowing red eyes. And I put him on a couple of hay bales to make him look a little, a little bigger. And he looks really good. Sinister Scarecrow is the title of that Department 56 piece. And it looks wonderful. It looks really good. But then the new releases started to show up online and, and we knew that we were going to get this piece. And so I thought that this guy would look better in that set. So I, I didn't put the whole set together. I, I don't want to pull everything out, but I did get the display base out. We've got the cornfield in there. So let's put him in there and take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so I did put one piece in there. It's the beauty about some, most of my collection, 99.9% .9 of my collection I have boxes for. I don't have a box for the Screech Owl Farm uh, barn. And so it just kind of sits on a shelf and it's pretty easy to get to. But you can kind of see how that looks. You guys probably remember this vignette. If you don't, go back and take a look at it, show you step by step on how to build it. There's our cornfield. And, and you know, we made that corn from some material we got online and just kind of painted it and pulled it off and plucked it and stuck it down into the ground there. But look at the corn creeper in that cornfield. He towers over the corn. So that is a massive, massive uh, accessory to set in a scene like that. Uh, 
Very cool looking, I think. Now we've got the Bucks County water um, or windmill chicken coop that goes in the center of that. So it'll block the view a little bit, but uh, you're still going to be able to see that guy standing back there. And it's going to be creepy looking, especially with a background and, uh, you know, this setup and displayed. I don't know where I'm going to display this one either. I, <laughs> I am running out of room, uh, obviously, with everything that, I've, that I'm getting and trying to build. Uh, but that's going to look really, really cool in the uh, Spooky Farm house, uh, Spooky Farm vignette display, what have you. It's gonna look really good, just like we thought it would look right in there. So to me, $28.50 well spent to put that bad boy back in that cornfield. So what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. The corn creeper is a great accessory. Doesn't do anything. It just sits there, but it's so well designed and it's so well thought out. It is huge. So you do have to take into consideration if you do purchase this, if you have purchased it, or you're thinking about purchasing this, where you're going to display it, because it is an imposing uh, accessory piece. It is rather large, but you saw in the vignette or the display uh, how it looks in that cornfield, how it looks beside the barn. Now imagine the, the house there, the Screech Owl farmhouse and the windmill and the chicken coop and all the accessories and have this thing all set up. It's going to look fantastic inside a display like that. At least I think it will look fantastic. So great addition to your collection for this year. So if you haven't bought it, go out and order or think about it or figure out where you would put it and then make a decision at that point. So, hey, like always, if you've liked this video, this review video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Again, it helps the channel to grow. It helps me personally. Also, you sharing these videos helps the channel to grow. So if you haven't done that, do me a favor and share it with somebody that you know loves Halloween as much as we do. Until next time, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again real soon.